Demeurez en ligne pendant que nous acheminons votre appel. Des frais d'interurbain peuvent s'appliquer. Hello? Joey! Hi, this is Eric Bedar, man. I'm fucking late. I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, are Come you good? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. And you? I'm fine. I'm good. Where are you? You sound like you're from. You're in Quebec. I'm in Quebec at a wedding. <laughs> ah, perfect time for an interview, huh? <laughs> <laughs> With you always, man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be quite easy, like usual. I'm gonna say hi. This is DJ Punkass Bed, and I'm gonna have to do introduce yourself, like every fucking time, man. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, this is DJ Punkass Bed right now, live at the wedding, and my friend, I'm gonna have to introduce yourself. Oh, hey, it's Joey Cape here. How's it going, everybody? I'm good, man. This is Joey Cape from Joey Cape. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Joey, man, this is crazy. I just listened to the record like two days ago. I've got really sick, and I've had nothing else to do than listen to that record. And, man, let me tell you, I was like fucking stoked. I listened like five times in a row, and it's amazing. Dude, this is one of the best oh, fucking records. So no, seriously, I, you know, I know you for a long time, and, man, I know you always put your art, but on that record, man, there's something really special. How was the process oh. of creating that record? Uh, you know, with, with Hang from Lagua again, did you do that, you know, outside that? How, how was the process creating that? Oh, I was, uh, it was different this time. I, I, I didn't second guess anything, and I didn't do a lot of editing or fine tuning. You know, a lot of the record was live the initial tracking and I just went with my gut on everything I just decided to try to do something more like a session than a record it's been a lot of very little time very little time editing and very little time second guessing the chord progressions or the tones and I just kind of just I wrote the songs and recorded them as quickly as possible to see I wanted to try that and see how it would go So I think it's got a more lo-fi kind of sound to it, and it's, it should be very honest. I don't know. Yeah, and I, and I really felt that, you know, that, you know, with the short time, it was, like, spontaneous. And I think that's, that's, that's what's working, you know. I, I mean, you know, it's spontaneous. Oh, well. You don't have, like, you know, you, you, you don't get, oh, we have to do this, we have to do this. Oh, maybe we, it's just like, we, have to, we don't have time. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was definitely what I was trying to do. And it was a lot of fun, but it was also really difficult for me because I'm so used to being able to fine tune things, you know, and spend a lot of time. It all kind of stems from doing those one week records that I've been doing, those sessions. And in those, you know, I have to finish 10 songs in seven days. And so you're sort of forced to just try to get a good performance rather than do any kind of producing, you know? It's a much more simple process that way. And I must and, uh, say, I really, I really like that. And, you know, I must say, you know, that, 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 that process of recording, you know, that one week is just, like, fucking amazing. I mean, like, every artist that did that, you know, they released something really cool. And is it tough? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> is it Thank stressful, you. like, to, to, to have an artist and, you know, in, in a fucking week, like, have to release the record? It really can be. I mean, some of them have been very easy and others have been just a mountain, you know, like just a mountain to climb. So it really depends on the on the record. But yeah, sometimes, oh, sometimes it's very difficult. <laughs> always, fun, always fun, though, you know, always fun. So you guys gonna get in a van one more time, a smelly van, and get on the road uh, and, and, and you're gonna tour for the, for the new record. How you felt? Um, yeah, we're just about to do that. I think uh, the first show is on the 15th, and 
We're on our way your way. Eventually, I'm, we're only doing one show in Quebec. We're just in, doing Laval. Laval. <laughs> La, Laval. <laughs> However, you would say. You know, if if we translate Laval, it, it would be like she swallow. <laughs> Oh, you're kidding, really? No, no, it's oh, fucking boy. true, man. It's like, it will be like oh, she God. swallow, if we translate that to English. Laval. Wow. But Very it's not far than Montreal, so people from Montreal can travel really easy there. So it's going to be it's gonna be a sold-out show. I know a lot of tickets just got, you know, people just fucking buy the tickets, and Hugo told me it's going to be amazing. Oh, that's good. That's really good to hear. Cool. Well, it always is anywhere in Quebec. I mean, I every show I've ever played up there has been fa fabulous. You know, it's fantastic. It's I've never had a show in the entire history that I've been touring anywhere in that part of the world that hasn't been a pleasure. So I'm always looking forward to it. I just chose to only do one show and try to do something a little different this time because I think maybe sometimes I come back there too often. <laughs> you know, and I don't want to wear wear out my welcome with you guys up there. I told you, you know, Joey, it's, it's Quebec featuring Joey Cape, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm fucking kidding, man. People love you here. You yeah. know, it's with the radio show. I see that, you know, and and with the last, you know, and people are so proud of you guys, and it's it's amazing to see that. You know, after all those years, you still release a great album, and people have respect for that. I mean, there's many bands that after two or three or four albums, they lost their self, which, you know, never happened for you guys. So people have a huge respect for you guys. So they always, like, welcome you, like, in a way that's always amazing. Drunk way, maybe, but it's always amazing. <laughs> uh, the feeling's mutual. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's an area of the world that has never faltered. You know, for us, you know, the audience has always been so understanding of our music and just the love is requited there. I, I, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's really the best place in the world for me to play whichever band I'm in because there's a passion that's happening up there with music that is pretty much unparalleled in the world. You know, there are places that are close, but really, I mean... You guys kind of win, you know what I mean? Uh, I You're always <laughs> try to understand, you know, why. And I think that, you know, most of the people here, well, Quebec people are not that proud, you know. We, we don't get it to be proud, like America and get the flag on your car. And like, I'm American. Oh, and I think that people understand how, how, how hard it is to be in a band or solo or anything and travel and come to see them. And I think that people are really grateful. Like, hey man, he came to see us. Let's go check them, man. It's Joey K from Lagwagon. And I think that that's the passion, you know, that that people uh, live through music. And you know, we don't take it for granted. I think that's the, the main difference. I love what you just said. I mean, I'm gonna believe that forever because that is so well put. And, and then that I'm, is it. I'm not drunk. <laughs> So maybe I'm right. Wait, <laughs> wait yeah, what? I'm a, you're, hey, listen, you're at a wedding. You should be drunk right now, my friend. I know, I know. But I'm with my little girl, so I, I try to still ah. be the father, you know. <laughs> Good for you. Good jo man. Joy, we're going to see each other at Laval. Thank you so much. And, and people at home, go cool, buy the record right fucking now on Patrick. This record is something really special. And, and like I said, I was really sick, so I have something special with that record. Those songs, it, it keeps me going through that fucking sickness and, like, beat the hell of that virus, man. And it's just, like, it's a great record, and congratulations. Joy, you must be proud of what you achieved all over the years, man. I mean, there's a lot of people that choose to stop or something, or but, you you know, you, you, you always keep going, and, and thank you so much for that, and thank you for the friendship, Joy. Thank you, Eric. I really appreciate your time, man. Thanks for all the kind words. I'm glad you're feeling better. That's my job, man. Nick your fucking butt. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to think about being a comedian. I think you're pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. To get humor on you. <laughs> maybe I get. Maybe I try. I don't know. But Joey, thank you so much. Have the time of your life till we meet at Laval. She swallow. <laughs> 
<laughs> people from there are gonna fucking kill me for saying that. But anyway. Oh my god, I know. You guys well, rule. As, as, as long as I didn't say it. <laughs> as as long as they don't swallow you, it's okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh, boy. Let's stop that ear, my friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Joy, <laughs> Joy, thank you so much again, man, and, and have the time of your life. And, and, man, thank you so much for the generosity over the years with the radio show. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. I appreciate that and can't wait to see you, man. All right, man. You too. Thanks so, so much. Now it's time to Come get nice drunk. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Have fun with your... All right. See you, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Joy. Bye-bye. Merci, man.